What's up, y'all? Welcome back to a new video. So a few days ago, me and my new trio played in Lachlan's Trio Cup. And so basically in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you the gameplay. We had a lot of insane plays, a lot of um, insane clutches. I mean, there's still a lot to be worked. This is our first tournament as a trio, and we just started being a trio. So I know we can do a lot better, but in my opinion, we didn't really do that bad. And yeah, so this is just going to be the gameplay and with some of my commentary and maybe a few tips and tricks. I don't know. Well, we'll see. But hope you enjoy. Please leave a like. This took a while to make. And yeah, every like is very appreciated. Now, peace out. So our strategy going into this tournament was being passive since the it was very passive based the point system. But as you can see here, game one, we do get W key by this team around mid game and we do clean up fairly easily here. Um, one of our teammates does go down. And um, as you see, we do end up being third party with grenades, which causes a lot of trouble for us. But we do get those three points there from the kill, and here I kind of go into panic here. I definitely have to work on this, not just overbuilding like crazy and going into panic. And I probably could have thrown my teammate around into a safer area so he didn't get finished, as you can see later on. But I mean, it's just it's full out warfare, and then also um, a. I forget the name, but there's like bots come. As you can see here, I almost died to one. I mean, it's just very chaotic. There's a third party in team, there's the little bots, and yeah, so we do, me and my duo do end up making out alive. I actually lose my AR in the process. But yeah, it's so far game one, already very chaotic to say the least. So here, me and my duo, we do hear a launch here, but um, we're in pretty big shambles. We have decent mats. I still don't have an AR, and we don't have very many extra heals. But we're trying to find the launch pad to reuse it to get a free rotation. We don't end up finding it, but my teammate does go for this um, empty, unused supply drop so we can get a launch pad from there. And then I do finally find the launch pad, so we don't even have to use the launch pad that we just got from the supply drop. So here, that puts us in a lot better position. I do get blocked here. Um, that's one thing you got to make sure is to always look um, above you before you launch pad. And one thing that I think really becomes clear that we have to work on is communicating while we're launch padding so we don't end up so far away here. So me and him, I do end up rotating pretty easily towards where he is, which is good, but the fact that we landed so separately there is not the best. Um, I, yeah, so we end up healing up there and this team right next to us starts focusing us because we popped the chuck splash very very good play by then here. Then we get rocketed from above. We're starting to gain focus. We're starting to panic here. I still don't have... The only gun I still have is attack, which is not the best position to be in. But um, I end up sliding down here to find a much better position here. But I'm running out of mats very quickly. I'm trying to get my teammate to come down. He does end up coming down, and we stop getting focused, and we do get zone here. So right now, our mentality is just get as much placement as possible, even though it's going to be hard since we keep on getting RPG'd, and I'm running out of mats very fast. So we're getting focused, RPG, RPG'd throughout all of this, and yep, there we almost get hit again. So I'm just trying to be very careful with the mats since I only have 200 at the moment. And yeah, we're just trying to survive as long as possible to get as much placement as possible. We still have decent heals. And um, so here we're going to start our rotate. I think we still have our launch at this point. So we pop one more chug splash and then wait for zone to close on us to launch pad, which is works out pretty well for us. I do get that nice little crack there, but we don't overcommit because there's no point in it. And we just keep on waiting to launch pad. That time I do check above myself, and he ends up hearing a launch pad, so we don't even have to use our own launch pad. And we get another free rotate here, and then, so this time we do a little bit better job sticking together. Wait, I think we do. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he lands on me. He actually does not land on me in this game. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting a little bit here. He lands somewhere else, uses our launch pad to get back towards him. Just a great play. We're back together in zone, and we get RPG once again. And even though RPGs are super rare, it seems like we're getting RPG a lot this game. So we've already secured three more placement points, and we're feeling pretty good. I find this a ton of loot here and the RPG. There was probably RPG in this earlier. I don't have any RPGs though, but this was super clutch because now I have an AR and a lot of mats. So right now, 50 players left, and we're looking pretty good. 
trying to get through here. We're ultimate low. Um, another big thing is here, I gotta um, not be afraid to use my mats. Me and him do get split up a little bit there. We shift the tarps together, but we kind of separated there. So game two here, we're playing it passive. We don't get contested, but we do end up getting double keyed. And again, one of our teammates goes down, but me and Frosty, once again, trying to get punished for this, but they end up finding us and double keying us. And it just kind of assumes that I mess up some edits, and I, I really choked that one. And I mean, it was we put ourselves in a hard spot there. So in this next game, game three, we actually come up with this kind of funny strategy here where we just keep in one of these and wait for someone to pop out. It actually worked very efficiently here. We got a bunch of kills. Um, we didn't really do any damage. It was pretty clean. And we just kept coming in and kept on killing them and getting a bunch of mats and extra heals. Very underrated strategy. Um, yeah, I don't really not have much else to say here. Just going to let it play out for a bit. As you can see, just picking up nice and clean kills. Teams and teams are just coming in here. And we're getting like five kills from this strategy, which is not bad. I mean, it's only five points, but it's still five kills. Yeah, I mean, this one doesn't go too well. I find myself by myself since when we launched, we kind of got separated and WP'd. And here, I mean, I was just getting focused from all angles. I got blocked off in the storm. It was really bad. I kind of choked some edits. Really, really hit my shots there, but it wouldn't. Wouldn't have really made a huge difference, so I'm still gonna die to storm. Kind of disappointing game, could have been a lot better. The next game is first game we contested, and luckily we clean up, we get to get a kill, and pretty much just destroy them. But then at the end of this game, we do not do very good. I think we had W key or something, but I didn't record it. So on to the next game. So the next game, our teammate's power goes out, so we were left as a duo. Very unfortunate. I end up being W keyed by this triple team. My teammate does end up escaping and securing a good bit of placement point. So this next game is honestly probably our best game, just for the fact that we stayed together throughout almost all the game. I really wish I'm recording more of it, but out of the footage got corrupted here. As you can see, we're all live here. I do pick up a kill from the guy who died in the storm, and yeah, it's just very. Um, vital that your whole team stays alive as long as possible and stays together. You can see the synergy does go down there as we do split up right as I was talking about staying together. But here I am trying to get out of the way as soon as possible and get our team and then run out of max. It's kind of unfortunate, but it happens to all of us. Nothing really I could have done better here. But I'm just like that we all stay together. I'm for the last few games, I'm just going to, instead of being um, doing a commentary, I'm just going to kind of get my conclusion of the tournament. But basically, we do two WQ games, and then our third game does not go so well. We get pushed. Um, by then, we are kind of feeling hopeless and can't really pull off round two, so I don't think we really play the best. But that's besides the point. Um, shout out to my trio. Their links will be in the description to their YouTube channels. It's really fun playing with y'all. Hopefully, we can play again. I also just want to bring to the point that we got 113 points. We're only like 70 points off qualification for round two. And one of the games our teammate got disconnected. And for the rest of the games, he had to play on mobile device, which is never as good. And um, yeah, I think we can do a lot better if we learn from our mistakes and just stay together. That was our biggest problem. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe. We're trying to get to that 300 subscriber mark. And yeah, peace out. Enjoy the rest of the clips.